Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the recap and review of NCIS season 4 episode Welcome to the recap and review of NCIS Season 13, Episode 8, Saviors. This episode starts out with some doctors, and they're helping people in a foreign country, and all of a sudden they're under attack, and this woman is desperately calling for Stan, so... Get it together, Stan. In the post credit scene, we get a reminder that things are terrible between Bishop and Jake, and true love is a lie. Just in case you forgot. They get a video call from Stan Burley, and... He talks about the woman he got the call from, and McGee's like, oh, is she okay? And then he shows us the pool of blood he found her in. So I'll take that as a no. Bishop and Dinozo go and try and talk to the founders of the International Doctors Group who sent the doctors to that country. And lo and behold, it's run by a pair of Dr. Woods, otherwise known as John Woods. They're just staring at each other, and it's this really kind of great moment. And Bishop's just like, why? Why is it always me? Why am I always the one caught between Tony and his potential goldfish? Bishop and Dinozo kindly inform Jean that her husband may or may not be dead. So, I mean, he still might not be. That's comforting. Tony apparently tells Bishop that they're good friends, and so McGee gives her an entire summary of season four. And McGee says, you know, Tony fell for her, and he broke her heart, and he's hated himself ever since, so... Ooh, we're just cutting right to the self-loathing today. I think it does work to explain some of the stuff that Tony's dealt with in the past, like when he had that whole personality changed after the girl almost wrapped her car around the tree. The fact that some of these issues does lead back to Jean makes sense. Fun fact, Ducky was in Doctors Without Borders. That's exciting. We go back up to the squad room, and Cyril Taft is there, so Lord help us. One of the doctors that went missing was also one of the doctors involved in Gibbs' surgery, who not only worked with Cyril Taft, but was also friends with Jean and worked under her organization. The team's gonna go to help the doctors, and Jean gets involved in it too. Gibbs wants to go too, and Cyril Taft's trying to stop him. Then Gibbs is having some health issues, and he falls back onto a wheelie chair full force, and he's fine. The chair is fine. Everyone is fine. And I hope one day I will find a person in this world who supports me as much as that wheelie chair supports Gibbs. Gibbs points out that this only seems to happen when Taft is around. And Taft's like, oh, is that right? Yeah, actually, kind of. So Gibbs, long story short, is no longer allowed to go on the mission. Tony and Mickey left, but the rest of the team comes in to greet Gibbs in the hospital. And every time someone mentions Jean Benoit, it's followed by, really? Her? This was not the episode that I thought was going to be packed with Arrested Development references. I do appreciate the constant reactions from the team, though. McGee desperately wants Tony to talk to Jean because, again, they left it without any closure. Tony admits to McGee that he was in love with her, which I think was obvious, but, like, he said it to someone out loud, which... It's pretty cool for Tony to admit that he has emotions. He does end up going over on the aircraft and sitting next to Jean and talking to her about David, her husband. We learn that he's a really swell guy and he makes Jean really happy and they started this organization together. Yeah, obviously she sounds kind of bitter and a little snarky throughout this episode, but think about it. Your husband might be dead and this man who broke your heart and lied to you years ago comes back and you're just like well today sucks she's being calm she's helping them on their mission and she didn't go off on tony once i think she's doing very well this episode bishop runs point for like an hour yay so taft goes to gives his house and wants to like reform his life because he said there's nothing wrong with his tests it's kind of all in his mind so Taft encourages him to look into therapy and talking about his thoughts and emotions and other things we don't believe in here at NCIS. McGee, Burley, Dinozo, and Jean are all inspecting the makeshift hospital that was set up. They open a cabinet and this local woman pops out from hiding and they all like get their guns ready and Jean's like, no, like, take it easy, I know her. She talks the woman through it and tells her what's happening and like who she is and how she knows her and hugs her. And I think that's something that's underrated a lot, the aspect of how much Jean cares about her patients. 
she's often only brought up in the context of like relationships but i think it's so important to just talk about her like she created this amazing organization that seems to be doing amazing things for people i think she's witty and intelligent and can be a kind person i said it in the spoilers and theories and i'll say it again i think a lot of the negativity associated with her is more attached to the storyline she was brought in with more so than her I'm really excited to see Jean come back because I just want to learn more about her and how Jean is doing and her life. Gibbs is back at work and it's still kind of messing with his head. He's shaking and his vision is kind of going in and out and it's actually a kind of unsettling to watch. So Gibbs runs off and he actually goes to talk to Taft about therapy, which is somehow more shocking than any other place I thought he'd end up. And then we do get a moment where Taff talks to Gibbs about his son Paul and how Gibbs threw himself right back into his work whenever something is wrong in his life. So apparently Stan Burley was having a thing with one of the doctors and he was too late and he feels bad about it, but we'll let him writhe in guilt for another day. We have season four references to get to. And then suddenly it's this moment where Burley's hinting that Tony should find a woman like Jean. But Tony also kind of hints that he's more so ready to settle down than continue playing the field. There's a lot happening in this tiny scene. Throughout this whole episode, Tony really won't give up trying to find David because I really think he this is his way of trying to make it up to Jean in some sort of way. And that's one thing about Tony. He's so determined, I think, to make it up to the people that he knows that he hurt. Once Tony puts his mind to helping someone, he's not going to give up. Truth or consequences. I think he does still care for her and he's obviously just seeking a way to find some kind of closure for her and him. McGee says the doctors will probably be kept alive as long as they're useful. And Sean's like, well, at least you're being honest. And that's good. Tony probably needed some shade from that sweltering sun anyway. So they go on the rescue mission. It's really nice to see Jeanne out on a mission. Burley blows up the gas cans and things are happening. It's very frantic. Jean runs for David and they're trying to rescue the other doctors as well. Finally, Gibbs gets outside help to go in and assist them and they're finally safe. On the air carrier ride back, McGee goes up to Dinozo and is like, wow, this must be kind of weird for you. Good job, McGee, nothing gets by you. And so Jean actually goes up to Dinozo and is like, I owe you. And Tony's like, you do not, actually. And so they kind of have that we are even now bit of closure. She gives him a kiss on the cheek, which is more than I expected to see from this episode. In the spoilers and theories, I talked quite a bit about them eventually having a friendship. And when I wasn't sure where this was going. I talked about a relationship because I saw a lot of other people talking about that and I thought I'd mention it. I would like to see them have an endgame friendship type relationship one day or even something close to it. I'm genuinely so happy for Jean that she's happily married and McGee just looks at them with this face that I'm not sure about. Turns out Gibbs actually has scar tissue on his heart and that's what might have been causing the discomfort but he still wants Gibbs to talk to someone because believe it or not, Gibbs is human. And once again, we end on a very like, eh, note talking about Gibbs's fears and mortality. So that was Saviors. I really liked it. I loved the reunion moment with Tony and Jean, and I loved their interactions together. Some of them were kind of confusing. I think Tony more than he really wants to be in a relationship with her, I think he wants the relationship that she has because it did talk about him settling down and I think it's weird for him to see someone that he was in love with having been married for so long but he's still single. I think we're st I'm still not sure what's happening with Zoe to be honest. And I also think there's that desperate need within Tony to give Jean closure which I think he's accomplish somewhat. I want to hear more of her stories and her achievements and development throughout the years because I think she's come a long way. I'd like to see her just be in Jean. 
So I'll see you guys for the Spoilers and Theories video for NCIS Season 13, Episode 9.